Hey guys, what is going on? I have missed my YouTube family. I am so happy to be making another video and to be here with you guys um, and to show you guys what I got. So this is a very uh, short, unannounced video. I wasn't planning on making a video today. I actually forgot that I ordered stuff. That's how much I order. I order way too much. So I forgot that I ordered stuff. Um, I didn't order anything big. So I'm just going to show you what I got really quick. Um, before we go any further, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I might not have said that in order, but hey, you know what to do, right? <laughs> and oh, my nails. So I attempted to do my nails uh, the other day. I tried to record it. Everything went bad. Yeah, it was a disaster. Uh, I don't know, guys. So this is how they came out. They're not the best. I don't like them. But um, I can you say close up? I I there. I love the color. So this is the top coat that I showed you guys in my other video from Enel Couture. The three sparkly top coats, the limited edition ones. So that's what this is. This is just a base coat and that top coat. And um, that's all that is. And yeah, so that's what those are. But the problem with that was I had on a darker blue. Um, the blue from the... Kiara Sky Chill Pill and I was wearing that blue at first and I realized dark blue is not my color. It did not look good on me. And so I had to file to take it off because it wouldn't come off easily. Um, and I didn't want to soak it off because I didn't want to soak off my actual nails because you know acetone will go through your nail as well. So I filed it off, tried to e-file it off. I mean, I'm. it took it was such a hard process getting that blue off that eventually what I ended up doing was I ended up filing too close to my cuticles and I ended up messing them up and I got like little cuts on them and they got all red and irritated. So at that point, I was just like, whatever, however this looks is how it looks. I don't care. So I'm leaving them alone for a little bit uh, for a couple weeks. I'm going to let my cuticles heal, put some cuticle oil on them, show them some love. Um, and then in a couple weeks, then I'll just soak these all off and attempt to do it all over again for you guys. Um, but back to today's topic, my nail mail. <laughs> so I... Apparently ordered something from Enel Couture again. And you know, I'm always happy when I get Enel Couture mail because I think it's I just love it. I don't know. I'm starting to love Kiara Sky Mail too. So I did order some other things from her. So stay tuned for that. Um I did order some more things from Kiara Sky because I love, love, love her gel polishes. Um and I always like to change my polish. So that's something that you can definitely look out for because I will be showing a video on that. And yeah, so boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Here it is. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I ordered. <laughs> I don't remember. I ordered way too much, guys. Like, I really need help. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure what I ordered, but we're going to find out together. It came in the mail today. So I'm um, excited. If you guys hear noise in the background, excuse it. Those are my kids, once again, you know, playing video games, doing whatever they do. Um, yeah, so that's that. Oh, okay, so uh, let's see if I can see what I ordered really quick. Um, off camera, that is. That was just the top of it, so that wasn't anything special. But, uh, okay. So let's take this out one the time. So the first thing that I ordered was this, um, which brush is this? Okay, so this is the blender brush. So I ordered the blender brush, um, one piece UV gel nail ombre brush, nylon hair nail art, um, for painting, drawing, pen, manicure, brush tools. So this is just basically to help me with my ombres. Um, you know, I am trying to work on my ombre. Like I said, I only do my own nails. So 
working on my armor. I'm making sure you guys can't. Okay, that's their address, but I'm making sure. Let me put it on this side. I'm making sure, you know, I'm only doing my own nails. So, um, me buying an ombre brush is really just for me to practice my blending. Um, and I thought this might help make it easier for me. And I love, I really like it. It's, I like the shape of it. You know, I never thought to buy a, a brush this shape, but I guess it does make sense if you want to blend because you're blending, um, you're blending up or down, you know, so that does make sense that the shape would be that way. It feels really good in my hand. It's not too bulky. It's light. Um, I really like it. The bristles feel good. So I'm excited to use this um, blender brush and it actually says um blender brush on it so i'm really really excited about that back in the tube it goes so that was the first thing i got and while we're on the topic well we're not on the topic but we're gonna get back on the topic <laughs> while we're on the topic of my nails let me just say don't overfile your nails <laughs> because you can hurt your cuticles and you can actually file off way too much of your natural nail bed and it can cause serious pain and problems. So make sure not to overfile your cuticles. Um, I know when I first started using my e-file, um, I'm very heavy handed and I was just really going in and I did mess up my nail bed on this finger. So now after that, I kind of stuck to just filing for a while and I got the hang of filing. And now I only go in with my cuticle, with my e-nail, when it's time to like maybe do my cuticles a little bit or take off the shine if I want to do it really quick. But I do tend to favor my regular nail files just because I don't like to overfile. And when I'm using my non-dominant hand, my left hand, and I'm filing on my right hand i tend to be a little bit more careful because you know this is the hand that i'm not used to using but when i'm working with my dominant hand which is my right hand or my non-dominant i'm really going in so i realized that i was giving this hand a lot of wear and tear so with that being said i kind of take my time now and i just stick with my file for the most part um just until i get the hang of it a little bit better like i said i practice on myself you know it's trial and error when it comes to my nails but I'm here for the process. I hope you're along with me. And once again, let me know, how was your weekend? What did you do? What have you guys been up to? I'm excited to know, share with me. So back to this bag though. <laughs> so let's see. Um, I'm just gonna take everything out. Yeah, so that was everything. And I'll put that bag back there. And now let's get into it. So I got the brush uh, and we're gonna open, let's let's go with this one first. Uh, yeah, let's go with this one first. I think these are the, I wanna say these are the, Castle Bunny. I wanna say these are the Castle Bunny cause I got two of the Castle Bunny Mm. we're gonna open it up and see guys because i'm not sure honestly if i could figure out how to open it how did i sit down and forget to bring a scissor knowing that they tape everything up super well um i definitely needed to get a scissor before i sat down here but we're gonna make it work because you know <laughs> that's what we do um and i'm gonna struggle with this but it's okay you know Struggling is part of it, and yeah, they tape it up really good. Though. I must give them that. Like, you can't say that <laughs> at this point your package is spilling or <laughs> anything like that because it's taped up really, really well. Um, I'm sorry about the noise for whoever does not like that sound. Yeah, I'm really just trying to get it open, and there we go. I do feel it loosening up, guys. Okay. And huh, there we go. There we go. So, now let's see. Oh, 
I did not mean to drop it. So let's see which ones I got. So in this one, let me put that to the side. Okay, so I think these are the other three ombre gel palettes. I got BB45. We'll start with this one. So this is BB45, and this one is a... Where is it? BB45. So this one is the Ombre Gel Pink Confetti. This does not look like pink, you guys. But this says BB45, and this is the BB45. Actually, it just says that it's part of the Pink Confetti Gel Nail Polish 12 Colors Nude Pink Series Gel Polish Glitter Set. Ooh, that was a mouthful. Um... But it doesn't, they, it doesn't say a color. It just says BB Ombre Gel BB45. So the color of this one, oh, I have it backwards. The color of this one is BB45, and this is what it looks like. So I, and once again, let me just say, um, I love Max's bottles. I love the style of them, you know, the aesthetic look of them. It's pleasing to me. I'm really here for it. And let's see what this color looks like. I did bring some swatch sticks with me, yay. So um, I will do that um, while I'm opening them up. Let's see what they look like. Oh, this is so pretty. So this is like a, this is like a, I want to say a purple bluish color. Let me get it closer so you guys can see. Can you see, can you see how pretty that is? It's like a bluish purple. And I'm going to swatch them for you. So just. I'm going to open them up first and then I'll swatch them. So yeah, so that one is that one. That's really nice. And this is the BB45. And then the next one is the BB01. Oh, so this is um just an ombre gel polish in white. Yeah, I didn't have any. Um, I know I showed you guys the other white that I have like uh with a glitter in it. But that white has like a glitter in it and it has like some kind of confetti in it. This one, I don't think it does. This is BB01. Yeah, this is just like a um this is just like a really pretty milky white. And I think I have a lot of milky whites honestly, but I just love white. I love the way milky white looks. I use it very often. Um it's something that I'm always using and yeah. I'm going to I'm going to use this all the time cuz I love milky white. So, <laughs> that's what this one is. This is just a milky white color. Um and that was BB uh white 001 and then we have bb46 so the bb46 is the same pink confetti gel nail polish series um and this is bb46 so bb46 i'm not exactly sure what color this is but in the pictures it looked nice um yeah so this is like another blue you guys so i don't have any blue so i'm really excited now that i have a couple of them and I like the way, I'm not sure if the light is doing it justice. Hopefully, when I swatch them, you'll be able to see better. But, there we go. I like the way that blue looks. It's like a bluish green color, and it has a, and it has a, a like, a shimmer sparkly to it. And you guys, you know what's funny? I have never liked shimmer and sparkle i've never been that type of girl it it just didn't appease me you know i really like it simple but <laughs> i really like these in the glitter i really like these glitter ones so that's funny to me you know you grow you learn i feel like you always learn something new about yourself right like you're never done learning about yourself or life so it's always interesting even the little things so let's see what else i have here i'm excited I'm excited once I can get it open. <laughs> so, you guys, um, I have just been working and I have been trying to figure out what kind of content you guys want to see from me. Um, yeah, so I can bring you guys videos that you really like. I want to make sure I'm keeping my YouTube family happy, you know. And, oh my God, I'm trying to talk and open this, guys. And 
let's just say that multitasking did not really work for me <laughs> but i got it <laughs> yeah i want to know what you guys want to see i know i always say this but please let me know what you like um what you don't like i try to answer whatever comments i see i try to reply to when i do see them so um, I will reply, you know, if there's something you want to see or you're curious about, let me know. Oh, and hey guys, can we get into the fact that I did my hair finally? I went to the hairdresser and yeah, she fixed my highlights. Haha. <laughs> and um, yeah, she just blew it out. So this is just my hair blown out actually, but um, it has... It has way too much oil in it. It's very, it feels very heavy on my head right now. So that has to come out. Oh, okay. I know what these are. Uh, for the most part, I know what these are, rather. And I didn't do my smell test on the other ones. So we'll move that aside. So first, I know what this is. I got the cuticle oil. So I finally got the cuticle oil. Now, do I need more cuticle oil? The answer is no. <laughs> I absolutely do not need more cuticle oil. I have one from Young Nails and I use that one all the time and I actually have another cuticle oil that I got from um, Amazon that has a vitamin E in it which is really good and I use that one I switch it up so I just wanted this one because um, I heard it smells really good so if I'm being totally honest about it um, that's why I got this cuticle oil and I love the pink I love the bottle once again and it actually does smell it actually does smell good. It smells like a little bit like bubble gum. I'm not going to say it fully smells like bubble gum, but it does have a, a, a sweet cotton candy bubblish kind of smell, which I like. I'm, I'm here for it. Right. So I'm going to be using that one. And like I said, I've been putting a lot of cuticle oils on my nail um, every day, at least two or three times a day, simply because I did get my cuticles very irritated from the filing the other day when I did it. So I've been making sure to keep them nice and moisturized, right? So with that being said, let's do these first. So I think I know what this one is. This is the Baby Metal um, Onyx 07. So I was really excited about this one, this baby metal one, because this was the Onyx and it's the, like the black one. And I have no, no, no black nail polish at all. I, black isn't a color I normally wear. I don't usually like black, but when I saw the polish on the picture online, I was like, Ooh, she's giving me bad girl vibes. And I wanted it <laughs> and I wanted it. So I'm like, yes, I want those bad girl wipes. So um, this is what it looks like. I like it. I'm not mad at me for buying it. I didn't look good in the navy blue. So I'm hoping it's just not all dark nail polishes that I don't look good in. And that um, this one will work better for me. So this one was the Onyx 07 from the uh, Baby Metal collection and let me just say once again i love the bottle wink at me girl wink at me <laughs> so i'm gonna put that one there and this one is also um this is from the ombre gel collection and this one is bb04 so this one is a beige um i didn't have a lot of beige this one just says beige i didn't have a lot of beige i like the fact that the color is in the top of it I don't have any beige actually i have a lot of very light browns or tans natural colors neutrals but not anything this dark and i really liked it when i saw it so i'm excited about that this is very thick i wonder if it's supposed to be that thick i don't i don't think so uh, we're gonna see how this cures, but guys, do you see this? Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is what it, the color looks like. It's a very dark brown. I like it though. But let's see how it goes on a nail file. It actually might be this thick because it's an ombre color. 
and you can do ombre with it so that could be why it's so thick so because it's supposed to stay in place until you ombre it out so that could be why it is a thicker polish um and last but not least we have which one is this 108 so this one is the gel polish and it doesn't have a name it's just 108 it's number 108 just from their gel polish collection and you know they have max has tons of these so that's what this one is um and once again i'll get into this pretty pink and gold bottle and the color is on the cap which i love because i'm not good with knowing what colors i have yeah this is like a nice beige this is like a pretty beige and to me it has like a, um a peach undertone yeah to me it has like a peachy undertone to it it's really nice so let's start swatching them guys i don't know why i closed that up all the way because i could have just swatched it but let's swatch them i'm really excited to see what that brown one looks like but we're gonna do this one first since it's you know in my hand and it's open already so yeah i know i'm holding my brush weird i'm holding my thing weird okay oh yeah this is like a full coverage with one with one pass like it's fully covered uh with one pass i'm probably gonna put two coats anyway but yeah this look guys how how nice that came out and that was just with one pass so let's put that in really quick and yeah let's wait for that one to come out and then we're gonna do this brown one because i really want to know what this beige that's what the color says it says beige so i'm really curious to see what the beige looks like when you put it on um a swatch stick because like i said it's coming out really really thick so <laughs> so i'm just really curious oh okay so it goes on pretty clear which is amazing to me because I definitely I definitely thought this was going to be a darker color you guys this surprised me so much and I'm like oh okay I'm here for it because it's not a dark it's not a dark color I thought it was really going to be darker than that but that's only one coat so if you wanted to use it as a jelly I guess you could because that is how it looks with one coat and it's really pretty and let's put that in there and now um like i said this one looks fine with one coat but we're gonna give it a second coat it did separate a little bit that could be my fault but like i said the way i put it on i probably didn't put it on the best um yeah this is really nice guys okay so let's see what it looks like with the second coat and we're gonna cure that yeah look at how after it looks when you get out so let me close this one up guys and we'll put that one there yeah this is really thick it's thick but it's <laughs> It's weird because it's thick, but it's not, um, it's not a heavy color. It's a very actually light brown color, like as far as opacity, like it's not very opaque. It's a sheer kind of color, which I like because I like sheer colors. I tend to like the colors that look lighter, but you know. And this is after two coats. So let's see what it looks like when we pop it in our lamp there. And I'm only going to do two coats. And that's that one. So we have those two there. And yeah, that came out really nice, guys. Look at that. I love that color. And this one is the Gel Polish Collection 108. So if you're wondering, that's the 108 
um, when the lights go off from the thing from the lamp I'll show you again this way you can just have a clearer look at what it actually looks like you have a better idea so now let's get into this onyx because you know like I said she was giving me bad girl vibes and <laughs> I'm here for it so let's see what it really looks like right uh, let's move these out the way Rashida what are you doing uh, let's move that out the way okay and oh yeah this is nice so if you wanted to just do one coat of this guys you can like it's not even taking me anything to spread this on like it went on so easy like the, i don't even think this needs two coats but yeah look how nice that looks it's like a and you know what i like about it it's not a solid black this to me is not black at all which i like this is like a gunmetal gray which i'm loving right so yeah we're gonna cure that in there and look at that i love that color i feel like i have a similar color to this i really do it's very similar and it's from Enel couture it's a similar color but it's not the same thing so yeah we'll we'll see it's still a little sticky it probably needs to dry some more put a top coat on it but I'm not getting up to get the top coat right now. So that's not going to happen. <laughs> and we'll cure that. And so now. So that's how it looks with one coat. And like I said, it really just does. It doesn't need two coats. We're going to put on a second one anyway. Um, just because. But you really don't need two coats with this. This can be done with one coat wham bam thank you ma'am like she is definitely giving me bad girl vibes and i'm here for it so we're gonna put it back in there and let's see and yeah and we're gonna put it back in there and now let's get into the bb46 so the bb46 is part of the castle is this one yeah the bb46 is part of the castle bunny magic collection the bb4 my thing was backwards guys the bb46 is part of the Ma castle bunny magic collection oh yes you know what this reminds me of as soon as i put it on the brush elsa do you wanna come out and play like it just reminds me of elsa it reminds me of snowy days and winter and blue winter wonderland and yeah um i love it it's really you can't see it with that so i'm just gonna wait to show you but it's really shim like you can see the shimmer even with the blue in the back you can see the shimmer through it it's really nice i like that one and then because we're gonna just cure them all at once guys so, oh, the light is off now, so maybe you can see it a little better. It's like a blue shimmer. And that's just one coat. Um, and now this one is the BB45, also from the Castle Bunny Magic Collection. Um, and let's see. Yeah, this is the one that I said looked like it had some purple in it. Yes, it definitely has purple in it because that's how it's going on. Um, it definitely has some purple in it. It's really nice. I like it. Um, you guys, this is pretty. Okay, and this is the purple. I'm not sure if you can really tell. I know I need better lighting, but in the meantime, in between time, <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. And this is my white. We're gonna um, swatch this. And this one is just the BB Ombre Gel Polish uh, White 001. So that's the color of this one, 001. And yeah this is just a white it's really nice though i like it it's not a thick white though so that's what's good about it it's not like a heavy thick white that you know it's going to be hard to go on or smooth out or anything like that and if you don't want a lot of color like one day you just want to plop something on really quick and go this is always my go-to color like i just throw it on and go even if i don't want to do like a nail design this is something where i don't have to do a nail design and it still looks really nice so that's why I like it. And let's take these out. 
and I'll show you those colors again and then I'll put in the ones I just did so I can do a second coat and show you what those look like. Okay, so um, these we don't need, you know, I'll put those aside. Okay, so this is the Onyx again with the two coats. I love, wait, let me try and block the light. I love the Onyx. The Onyx is so nice. And this one is the beige. It's a really pretty um, brown color. I really like it. And this one is just the number gel polish 108. And yeah, oh, there we go, there we go. That's, I think that's better. That's just the gel polish 108. And I really like these colors, guys. So that's the gel polish 108 right there. And this one is the beige. Oh, I didn't close that. And this one is the Onyx. Oh, there we go. With the light off, you can see it better. But I'm going to show you guys with the light off because I know the light can be a little bit distracting. So these are what uh, these colors look like. I really, really like them. Okay. And now let's do a second coat of these. So this is the white, which is this one. And we're going to do a second coat of the white. And once again, I really like that it's not a thick, a very thick, heavy white. I don't like thick, heavy whites. I never did. I don't know. It's not my thing. I find that when you have a very thick, heavy white, it tends to look like chalk. And I don't like my nails looking like <laughs> I'm wearing chalk. It's not something that I find appealing. So that's why I don't like solid, bright whites because I, I don't like that chalky look. But I like this look. <laughs> I like that milky white look. So that's the second coat of that one. And this is the this is the blue one that's this one yeah this is really pretty and i think after this i might take a break from glitters you know i say that but i'm pretty sure the nail polish i got from kiara sky might have some glitters in it who knows with me right but um i have a lot of glitters i don't really need any more glitters to be honest but you guys, I am, wait, there we go. Can you see that? That is so flipping pretty. Okay, so that was this one. And closed this one. And now let's, oh, it has something on it. Wait, there we go. And now this is the one that had the purple in it. Can you guys can see? I'm like, what am I doing? I have to show you. That's the point of doing it. Not for me to see, for you to see. Yeah. But I really like this. It goes on really smooth. I don't think if you bought this, you'd be mad. Like, I think if you got this color, you'd be very happy with it. I mean, if you got any of these colors, you'd be happy with it, honestly. And that's the one with the purple. Pretty. So, like I said, let's cure that. And, you know, we'll see them all when they come out. And I'll show you one final time. Because I know when I'm watching videos and I'm looking at them do the colors, I'm like, hey, put it closer. I can't really see the color. What does it look like? So, if I keep showing you the color, it's because I really want you to get a good look of what it looks like you know you don't want to spend your money on something you don't like or a color that you didn't um get to see properly so i want to make sure that you're fully seeing it and you know what it looks like and when you go to purchase it or even if you see it again you'll be like okay i definitely know what that color looks like i've seen it right so that's the only reason i keep showing you guys so much um while we're waiting for that i'm gonna say it one more time i like dumpster diving 
I'm waiting to see my dumpster diving friends in the comments say, me too, girl. I like dumpster diving because I'm waiting for somebody to be like, hey, I will go with you. Let's go dumpster diving. Like, I don't know why I want to do it. <laughs> I, I really don't know why guys and I keep talking about it and I'm definitely gonna stop if you guys want me to stop talking about the dumpster diving just say Rashida quit it it's enough we don't want to hear about the dumpster diving no more <laughs> I will totally understand so here's the white and I'm gonna show you all of them now so here's the white and like I said I love that it's like a milky white it looks really pretty um and yeah, sometimes I don't want to, like I said, I don't always want sparkly or bright or anything like that. And I just want something simple and plain. And this is always like my go-to color. So um, I'm here for it. And that's that one. Wait, can, let's see where I can put them so you guys can see it. Um, that's that one. And this is the one with the blue in it. I love, love, love the blue. It's so, so pretty. And that one is, no, not that one. That one is the BB-45. So the blue is the BB-45. And we're just gonna move those out. And then this is the purple. Ooh, I'm so here for it. And I don't ever really wear purple, so this will be different for me because blues, purples, um, that's all out of my comfort zone. The gray, those are all colors that I've never worn before, honestly, that um, I'm really excited to wear and show you guys how it looks and take you on this journey with me so we can figure out what my likes are, what my dislikes are, you know. Maybe we can figure out what your likes are, what your dislikes are. You know, let's do it together. Okay, and this is the BB-45, which is the purple. Oh, and just so you want, if you want a comparison of the blue one and the purple, we can hold them up together. Um, and there you go. The, that's the blue and the purple. So that's what those look like. And then we have the, this one is the Gel Polish 108. And that's what that one looks like. Really pretty. I love it. And then we have the, the beige, which is 004. And that's the beige. I really like the beige. I really thought this was going to be a different color since it was so thick. But it surprised me. I'm, I'm here for it, though. And here is my bad girl, Onyx, um, from the Baby Metal Collection. Onyx um 07 that's what this one is and I, I really like this one i can't wait to use this one um i'm hoping it doesn't come i'm hoping guys it doesn't come out like a tragedy like the blue one did because i really thought that navy blue was gonna look good on me the one i had got in the other video that i showed you guys the the kiara sky chill pill i really thought that was gonna look great on me but it didn't <laughs> my nails i don't know if it was just my complexion maybe i feel like you know some complexions don't go with certain colors well at least for me so that color did not mesh with my complexion it looked really bad on me but with that being said i love the color and i think it would be a good toenail polish for me i think it would be a good toenail polish i just didn't like the way it looked on all of my fingers so i might do like um I might do a nail polish one day where I just do that color like on one finger and then I do like maybe the white on the rest of my fingers. Something like that might work. We'll see. We'll figure it out. I'm going to keep trying with that blue color. Eventually, I'll get a combo that works. <laughs> but I really like this, um, this Onyx 07. And you know what other color they had this baby metal in that I liked, but I didn't buy it? was the fuchsia they had it in a fuchsia it was like a pink metally color now i'm thinking that one will probably be really pretty too so i might go back and buy that one because i like this one so much and i didn't top coat these i'm sure they're gonna look amazing when they're top coated but yeah guys i have already taken up so much of your time and i definitely definitely appreciate you being here and spending time with me um, once again, like, comment, share, subscribe, and till I see you next time, my YouTube fam, be safe, be well, be good, 
enjoy life.